Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. It is a cold and chilly day in December, but I've come down to McLaren Ascot because McLaren Ascot and McLaren London are doing something quite special today. They are taking five, actually I think maybe it's four, of their new 570S coupe models on a convoy into London. I've been obsessed with the 570S ever since it got launched, fell in love with it at Cooper Festival of Speed, but I have not yet seen one on the road. So I thought no better excuse than to come down here today, stalk them into London and check out how awesome these little cars are gonna be when they're on the road. look so cool. The red one surely has to be the one that I need. I need to put a giant white dot on the door. That's what that's missing for me. But no, I think they look so cool. But for me, the big thing that has been so exciting about the 570S is the way they sound. Um, a lot of the more modern McLarens, in my opinion, have been a bit too quiet. Um, I know it's because they've got turbos in them, but the 570S, when I heard it at Goodwood Festival of Speed, I was like, oh, oh, and now suddenly I really want a McLaren. So I'm excited to get them all starting up. And then obviously, hopefully throughout the day, here's some accelerations, but they just look so good. Anyway, as I say, we're down here at McLaren Ascot. I might as well show you some other stuff that's going on because there are some crazy cool cars here. It is one of the main dealerships for the south of England for McLaren, I think. So let me spin you around. This very nice, I believe this is Chicane Grey 675 LT from Monaco. So I think I actually saw this car in Monaco when we were down there earlier in the year. Really nice with the green calipers. A beautiful F-Type, but then, most impressively, once we get past the 600DS, check out this P1. Oh my lord. It is like a sort of multicolored, multi-spectrum. I don't know what they call this color. I have seen it on Instagram photos before. Not this exact car, I don't think, but I've seen this color. And it is definitely unique. I mean, if you're gonna have a super rare P1, why not have it in a super rare colour? You have another P1 in the workshop there, a nice grey one, UK registered, and then some 12 Cs and a couple of 650Ss being worked on as well. But the main reason we're here, as I say, is for these new 570Ss. And finally, we are ready to roll out. I am so cool my hands. I can hardly feel my hands. These are the four cars we're taking. White, orange, and two reds. Oh, and they look freaking awesome. Oh, Six of is joining in, I believe. So somehow I've ended up behind a McLaren 650S instead of a 570S. I'm not entirely sure why the 650 is coming along with us on the trip, but it is. Um, I'm hoping that there's gonna be some kind of motorway or dual carriageway at some point where I can overtake it and get behind the cars. We're here to see the 570S. The best one for me here is the red with the dark tan interior, but I'd have the darker wheels on it, I think. The wheels from the white car. There you go, that car there. That is the spec that I'd probably get, but with the darker wheels. Now, I've just been speaking to Paul Wallace from Supercars of London and found out that he's actually coming to intercept or hunt down this convoy a little later today. So there's a very strong chance that you would have already seen a video on this 570S London run on his channel a few weeks ago. But hopefully I'm giving you a slightly different perspective. Me and Paul really need to communicate more on what we're doing. <laughs> and finally, we are in a convoy. Well, actually, the white ones just got separated, but... I actually think this 650S looks a bit dated now in comparison to the baby 570s. Just the back of it. 
I know that's a silly thing to say and it's the bigger, more powerful car, but from the back, it just looks a tiny bit more dated. I know from the front it would look totally legit. Maybe I'm just a bit too familiar with that rear end, because it really just dates back to the 12C, doesn't it? It hasn't really changed the rear end. Whilst the 570s look kind of cool with those light strips, like the P1 almost, like baby P1 light strips. Oh, look at that. Sunshine, McLarens, and a Renault up there. So there is the infamous Windsor Castle. It is probably one of the Queen's most famous houses. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a castle, but it's kind of her house. Apart from Buckingham Palace, which is in London. Anyway, so the guys are heading along here. Now, I got a bit confused earlier when they were telling me the instructions for what they're gonna do. They are gonna park up for a photo, and we were supposed to wait somewhere, but yeah, I just got a little confused. So. <laughs> Let's hope I don't mess this up and ruin it for them, but we'll play it by ear and hopefully get some really cool photos of the cars in front of the castle. Just following them around like this, it definitely makes me think at some point in life I would love to own one of these cars. Look how cool, look at that red one, come on. They really are baby, baby supercars. Whilst the new R8 is incredible, I don't know, it's just more... Okay, this is it. I think you will see more R8s on the road. So I think they'll, I think the 570S will be more special. I think that's what it is. They're both supercars for sure. But I think, I think the 570S will feel more rare and like an occasion. Because it is a McLaren. We'll come and park here somewhere. Okay, photo shoot done, and we are getting ready to roll out again. Rev. I think we did cause a bit of a disturbance. <laughs> I had to make some crackles on the way out. <laughs> that was... That was me trying to get involved in the supercar vibes. No one really cared. Well, I'm having a fantastic morning. <laughs> I'm really having a lovely time. We've just pulled over for a second. I think they're just setting up some GoPros because we are now about to drive into London, which is the main reason of today. on the motorway seems to be over and we are all still cruising together but this is where I think it's most likely cars might start to get split up. Traffic lights, traffic and lack of directions often means that supercar convoys don't stay together that long in London but we're trying our best. At the minute we're all still together. I don't know why we say we, I'm literally gate crashing <laughs> but I like to think I'm part of the family today. Accelerations, come on, red one. So, so good. So, I think this is going to be our second stopping point the Natural History Museum, as far as I know.
guys are now headed into central London and it feels like the perfect time for me, I think, to duck out. Um, but yeah, it's been an incredible morning. I'm so glad I've now got to see the 570S on the road. It has confirmed all my feelings from Goodwood Festival of Speed that it is an insane car and I really, really want one. So somehow I need to find 150 grand. Let's see if we can work on that. But anyway, yeah, amazing morning. Really glad I joined. Really good fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure you're subscribed for plenty more videos to come. Maybe I should teach you how to woo a lady in a van. Oh, yes. It's a very subtle technique. Listen carefully, right? Wind down the window, and you've got to be very subtle. All right, Draco! Glenny! Should I give it a go? Ah, Draco! <laughs> <laughs>